Good evening, Ricky Santos here, and president of Generation X Football Club. We're pleased yet again to have the opportunity to send six players up to Brookhouse College for trials, where they have the opportunities for possible scholarships, either full or partial. Um, we're hoping that, that uh, one or two of them, or maybe if not all of them, could get scholarship offers while they're there. Uh, one of our coaches, Coach Yaya Shakimba Williams, uh, he's accompanying them up there. And the reason for the, for the coach also going up there is not only to look after the youngsters, but also so that he can, he can pick up on the, on, on the techniques that Brookhouse is looking for. So when he comes back, we can better prepare the kids for when they go back up again. This is an annual event. Last year, we sent up four, four um, players. This year, we're sending up six. And so next year, we're hoping to send at least six again. Uh, the, the players are selected by the coaches in Generation Next. And, and once they make the selection, we speak with the parents. And once they are able to make the trip, then, then so be it. They go, go up there for the trial. As I said, it's a wonderful opportunity. We'd like to thank Brookhouse College because they are hosting them up there at no cost to us. So all we're doing is finding the airfare, uh, which, we, which we're fortunate enough to have on board some sponsors. So, so we, wish, we wish the youngsters all the best. And of course, a bright future awaits them both academically and professionally, hopefully. I'm looking forward to improve myself as a coach, I learn the new drills or anything that's catchy. And also looking forward to see the boys showcase their talents in, in which I know they have. And I also look to see the difference, when the difference in the way they coach here and up there. I hope to not be as nervous from the last experience I had. It was very exhilarating because I've never had that before. So I have to thank Calvin Foundation for that experience, by the way. Um, but what I expect going forward is me playing better, being better and feeling more confident about how I play and my game. So going forward, I just want to do my best and put my best foot forward. It's mostly about simplicity. And I think I've got the fundamentals down and I've gotten better. So yeah, I think I've gotten better. I think I've improved over time. So when I go up there, I hope the coaches will see my improvement. I see how much better I've got, gotten. So they can come back and tell Ricky how good I got him. Last year, um, I had a very good experience. I got to like, build a relationship with a lot of the coaches last time. But um, I feel like because I had an injury last time, it kind of stunted my ability to showcase my talent. So I'm hoping that this time I can really showcase my full talent to the coaches and that I can gain their respect and, you know, just get on the good side. And, the yeah, overall last year was a very enjoyable experience. But I hope to be better this year. England is probably the best place to like showcase your skill and experience new things. So it's good to go there and like experience a different level of football. My experience at Fleetwood wasn't the best. I was kind of the youngest there. I was 16. Everyone else was like 18 and 20. But it was a good experience, like good start. Hopefully, leadership on the on the field and um, just a good experience overall. I grew up in Sweden and I started playing football there when I was really young and then I ended up moving here to Antigua and started playing for a club and just got older and older, kept playing for the club and now I'm staying club. When I get to Brookhouse, I uh, hope to get a lot better at football, hopefully. I hope to get better and I want to go for the experience, see what it is like. Hopefully it's better than here in Antigua, I hope. I'm 11 years old and my name is Leyland Powell. What I accomplish to do when I get to Brookhouse, I accomplish to get the attention of anybody who's important over there and see if they, if I can get anything scouted or scholarship, something that will help me in the future, like for any like high school or college. I really appreciate this opportunity to go to England. That's what I hope to accomplish when I go to Brookhouse. I've been playing football since I was around three years old. I really love football since my dad got me started earlier, like really early when I was three years old, and he used to take me to the beach so we can practice. So my love for football is pretty big. My name is Chase Ghana, I'm 11, and I'm very excited to go to England because I'm hoping to learn more tactics and understanding of the game. I think they're gonna say that I'm a good player, just a few more things I need to work on. Yeah, I hope to put those things in place and to do better. Well, my name is Caroline Tranter, I'm William Tranter's mom. 
and um, he's so excited to be going off on this um, this trip. Um, it's been a dream of his since he was very little to play football um, and Generation Next are helping him get that opportunity to go overseas and to experience different, you know, have these different opportunities to, um, to develop his skills and hopefully showcase them and who knows what will come of it. So we're, we're making dreams happen here so we're grateful, thank you. My name is Douglas Compton, um, father of Clayton Compton who is on his way to England to play football. Thank you to Generation Next and Ricky. I think they've done an amazing job with the children on the island. Um, very much appreciated. Um, I asked Clay if he was excited. He said yes. I asked him if he was nervous and he said no, but I don't believe him because I'm nervous. But he's going to do well. I'm sure he is, like all the rest of them. My name is Rufilo Camacho. I'm the father of Ethan Camacho. Ethan Camacho is actually here for his second time um, linking up with Brookhouse College in the UK. Um, last year he had a good time but unfortunately he had a slight injury. He had a hamstring injury so even though he was able to participate he wasn't able to give it his all. So this time around we're hoping that he'll be able to give it his all and hopefully we'll get some success from it. But just from what happened last year, we expecting great things again this year. So thank you so much Generation Next, Ricky Santos and the whole crew for um, this time out and um, you know, hoping everybody would learn from it and grow from it and get stronger for it. Ethan was sort of in transition in terms of what his best position is um, and along with the coaches of Generation Next and advice from Brookhouse College as well as the combines we have from time to time. He is now able to get to a point where he knows his best position. He's um, perfecting it, refining it, so he can be the best in that position. So definitely growth, definitely um, zooming in on what his best position is in football, which I think can lead, you know, to, to greater things down the road. So definitely, um, you know, good things have has happened just because of the um, the linkage with. Um, Brookhouse College. So my name is Leland Powell. I am father of Leland Powell. Same name. Well, so yes, I am true. You know, it's a good opportunity to really use to showcase the talent. You know, opportunities, scholarship, but even that scholarship, so much to see what is out there. So I'm very, very, very happy to it. Also, it's just a motivational tool because now he can come back, tell his friends. So the club here too. It's a promotion for the club, so I see it as an ambassadorship. So I see it's a win-win situation anyway, look at it. He's going off to, to see what's the world after. So Generation Next, 100%. I just want to say, I want to thank all the parents and all the supporters of Generation Next. And for everybody just coming out and even support, showing their support in any way possible. We're here again from last year. Last year, remember, we sent four kids and two coaches to Brookhouse and they had an imaginable time. Um, we had some who came back with partial scholarships and stuff like that, which was our goal for them to get full scholarships and partial. And here we are this year sending now six kids are going across there. We have one coach this time going across there, Coach Yaya, and we have also a parent. Now, one of the new things that happened from since last year to this year, we have started something called the CGPGA, which is the parent factor of Generation Next. So we have all the parents coming in, and it's like a, like a parent group on schools and so forth, but it's more exciting, it's more adventurous, and we've been raising funds so that we can keep doing this at an annual basis, and even during the year we have more. We have something coming up in December where we're going to go to Tobago, Trinidad and Tobago, my home, and um, stuff like that. So, you know, we just want to thank you guys out for reaching out. Come join Generation Next. If you want your kid to evolve, if you want them to explore their potential in sport and stuff like that, this is the place to be. I am not disenfranchising any other clubs, but we are very aggressive. We love the children. We love the future of the children. And this is what we do. We gear everything towards them. Um, I've, I know you have seen before, you've met all of them, you've interviewed them, you've seen their interviews, you've seen how excited they are and the coaches and so forth. And Ricky, our fearless leader, Ricky, you know what I mean? But we just, we're just enamored. We're very happy to be in this position and in the next year. And we're going to be here again. Hopefully, Calvin is going to be here to see us go up in December and the next year and more. So we're going to be just growing, growing, growing. So all I can say is thank you. Thank you for allowing us to be able to grow into who we need to be. 
and we hope that you join us for the journey as we go and evolve more and more. Brookhouse College. Brookhouse College, Brookhouse College, I want to thank you, thank you so much because partnering with you has allowed us to make our young footballers' dreams come true and ability to go abroad. Some kids have never left Antigua and then let me tell you something, there's nothing more important than experiencing an international feeling and to see how people, you know, do it in England or Canada or all these other places and a lot of our kids, they look at English football. They admire English football. They love England. They love how um, these superstars and they play. So getting a chance to step on that soil because of Brookhouse giving us this opportunity so that they can experience school life and soccer life, we want to thank you. We want to thank you, thank you, thank you. And we hope that we build more borders with other clubs and other schools abroad. So Brookhouse again, thank you so much for being a part of this immense occasion.